the sins of commission and the sins of omission. What are you talking about? We're going to go to James chapter 4, verse 17. The half-brother of Jesus is speaking here. James chapter 4, verse 17. Again, listen to this. Anyone, that's you and I, then who knows the good he ought to do and doesn't do it, sins. Another translation said, translation says, to him to know it to do good and doeth not. To him, hmm, it is sin. We know the sins of commission, right? We commit sin, the things we commit, right? And also, there is such thing as the sins of omission. The things, the good we omit, we avoid, we stay, we stay away from, right? We, we avoid. Hmm? Check this out. We know lying is a sin, right? However, also, to know the truth, huh? And don't tell someone the truth, that is sin. Hmm? Check this out. If you see someone in need, whether they need a little finance, you see there they need uh, supplies, clothing, food, and the Holy Spirit tugs at your heart, and you know hey, maybe I can help this person or family, and you don't do it, you just avoid. That's sin. Hmm? Hmm? That's sin. You know, not too long ago I had a situation where I drive drive past this um, this family. They have uh, their cars broken down. It's a homeless family. They have their tent outside. And here I'm going to the beach, right, to have some recreation, right? And I see them there. Then on the way back, Holy Spirit tugged my heart. I had to stop. Because I know I had to do, to him to do it, to do good, and do it not. To him it will be sin. I know I'll be sinning. I'll be disobedient. But I had to be obedient. So I stopped. And I talked to them. And they told me my, their situation. And said, can I pray with you guys? I prayed with them. I gave them words of encouragement. Hmm? Matter of fact, I had some supplies in the back of my truck, and I even gave it to him because a teenage son wanted some lumber. So I gave it to him. He wanted to build something. Then I blessed him financially. You know, you cannot meet everyone's need every day. You're going to meet people. You're going to come across people every single day. Hmm? Even when you're going to work, coming home from work. You think, oh, I'm tired. I went, I went to work. I did my deed, right? God's going to may have you cross paths with individuals to meet people's need, hmm? to do good. Remember, to him knoweth to do good and do it not. It is a sin. Hmm? Sure, you can't help every single person, but surely you can help someone. Hmm? You see someone need, do it. You know, sometimes we speak evil huh, of someone that we don't care about, right? Hmm? But also, it's a sin. That this person you don't care about it is a sin if you don't offer him friendship, a word of encouragement. Be kind. Gentleness with them. Huh? Show love. Hmm? The fruit of the Spirit. Hmm? To him to know it to do good and do it not. To him it is sin. Guys, it's not about just committing, committing things is sin. It's also when you're omitting to the good that you ought to do for someone. So guys, when you see someone in need, whether it be, you can offer prayer, hmm? financial, clothes, food. Huh? It's a, give them an ear. Let them speak. Hmm? That is the good we ought to do. Be obedient. Don't be disobedient. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So the messages like this can get out. So people can see what they ought to do as children of God. How we ought to live in this earth. How we ought to be the light huh? to the world and the salt in the earth. God bless you. I love you. Aloha.